Kim. We have Tom joining us. Tom has a PhD in exercise uh, science, and he's bringing us a way that we're going to be able to monitor our heart rate. Glad to have you here. Thanks, Kim. Yeah. Tell me what makes this uh, so unique and special. Well, the main thing, Kim, is that you don't have to wear a cumbersome chest strap. Mm. A lot of the other heart rate monitors, you have to put some gel on the chest strap, and, and then it doesn't really fit well, and then people are not inclined to use it. Yeah, and you think when you're being active and you're working out, that would almost seem to get in the way. It does, it does. And in fact, you know, I teach at a college and my students won't wear the chest strap. Uh -huh. So the Mio is so easy, all you have to do is place both fingers here and hold it for that prescribed period of time mm -hmm. and bingo, and then you get your heart rate and the heart rate comes out. Why is it important if I'm starting an exercise routine or I've been working out for years, why is it important for me to monitor my heart rate? Well, a good idea, Kim, is to know your heart rate at all times during exercise. For mm -hmm. example, if you get to too high of a level, then you're beyond that, what they call anaerobic threshold, mm -hmm. and you won't be able to stay there very long. So the goal is to be able to know at any particular moment what your heart rate is. Oh. And this device. And with this, it's easy. Yeah, it's like it's, looking down at your watch. Exactly. Which exactly. most of us look down at a lot whenever we're working out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? A lot of folks in the old days, you may remember everybody doing this, yeah. trying to take their heart rates, and it's just not convenient. And then the heart rate monitors came down with the chest straps, mm -hmm. and that was too cumbersome. So this is really the new scientific breakthrough. So this is so much more accurate, and it's so much more convenient. And what do I see when I, I see the screen? Oh, does it also have the time on there, too? Yeah, oh, it has the time. Oh. Yeah, you can do, yeah, there's lots of other measures you can do. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can actually calculate if someone's doing a, a marathon, you know, you can be taking their time when they're doing that. So there's a variety of other games you can play and you can program with it. Would you recommend this for somebody beginning as well as somebody advanced in exercise? Absolutely, especially for the beginner because beginners sometimes are working too hard and I know that sounds counterintuitive but if you're working too hard then you won't be able to work out as long and then you won't be able to burn the calories and most people are trying to lose weight so this can be a great tool to help people lose weight. How do you find what your optimum heart rate is? Yeah. How, how do you know what that yeah, is? Yeah, that's called target heart rate and the way to measure that uh, the old scientific, it was 220 minus your age, mm -hmm. but now they've changed it. And the new formula is a little bit more difficult. And, you know, we'll actually, if you go to the MIO website, they actually tell you how to do that. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So something that's going to be able to help you out if you're just starting an exercise routine or something that if you're already uh, working with an exercise routine, this would be highly recommended for you. And one size fits all? Yeah, the way it works, uh, the strap, you know, you can adjust it accordingly.